So we named the drum the Wraith. I really wanted the name to be relevant to the drum. And, you know, the, the word Wraith is most commonly um, relative to a ghost or a ghost-like presence. I've always really been keen as a drummer to, to use a lot of sensitivity and dynamics and play a lot of ghost notes. So in that regard, it's a very direct relation to how I play, you know. From, from day one, I knew that I wanted a brass snare drum. Brass is extremely responsive in any setting. When I tap a snare drum with my finger, I want to hear those snares. I want to hear that sensitivity. Luckily, I've been able to bounce all of these comments and ideas off of the people at Mapex, who are obviously experts when it comes to drums and building drums. And it was very easy for me to say, here's the sound I want. How do we do it? Unlike really any other Mapex Black Panther snare drum, the Wraith has vents. You know, from an aesthetic standpoint, I wanted the vents to be positioned in a way that actually made sense to something that I was doing. Uniquely enough, uh, part of Periphery's logo uh, are these three dots right here, actually. One, two, three. So I thought, okay, well, a snare drum is a circle, but then why not, instead of having just one hole on each side, why not have three little vents in each position? So that's what we've done with the drum is we've created these little venting systems, if you will, um, where there's three sections of them, but they're all very small holes rather than one big one. It, it's spread out on the drum so that, you know, the air, once you hit it, can exit in multiple places fairly evenly. It's like a triangle. It allows for a nice breath for the drum to have. The hoops in particular on this drum, uh, there's two things I was looking for. The first is durability. Um, and two, I need a drum that actually has a hoop that has a sound to it. When I hit my snare drum and I hit it powerfully, I want to hear a nice combination of crack that you get from the stick hitting the hoop and the drum at the same time. I want to make the snare drum that I want to use every night. I don't want this drum to be something that just fits one sound, one style. I want you to take the drum, play it, and decide how it fits into the music. Is it the thing behind the scenes, or is it the thing right at the front, or is it the thing right in the middle of the mix? And, you know, is it this, uh, is it this supernatural, you know, unreal snare drum? I think so, I think it's pretty cool.